Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the brand new iPod Touch 7th generation. Now, will this be the last iPod Touch we ever see? Only time will tell, but in this video we're going to be talking about the top 5 features of this new iPod. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Number 1 is Raise to Wake. This is one of my favorite new features of the iPod Touch. Um, and since it now uses the Apple A10 chip, now supports this feature and um, really nice to have on the iPod Touch now. So just lift your wrist and screen is on. Of course you can disable this in settings under display and brightness. Number two is group FaceTime support. Now previously group FaceTime was supported on the sixth generation iPod Touch, however it was audio only, meaning that when you're making a group FaceTime call on the sixth gen iPod Touch, you could only hear the people on the call and they could only hear you. Uh, you couldn't see them and they couldn't see you. So um, that kind of sucked. Uh, I guess it was a hardware limitation. You needed the Apple A9 CPU or later to be able to do that. Um, so only the people with the iPhone 6S or later got to enjoy the video feature. So now that this iPod has the A12 chip, uh, you can now actually have video in your group FaceTime calls. Number three is support for AR kit. Again, this is a hardware limitation. You need the Apple A9 chip or later. Um, but now you can play all of the AR games on the App Store. Um, and also, you do get the Measure app, which of course is an AR app. Um, so, we've all seen this before, but basically you can measure things around you in the room. And this also applies to iMessage and FaceTime. Um, you can now use the effects right here. So you can do AR, um, you can draw, um, add stickers, all that kinds of things on iMessage as well as FaceTime. Number four is image formats. Now this feature requires the Apple 10 CPU or later. So if you go into your camera settings, you'll see you have this new formats tab and you can now capture in either the high efficiency or most compatible formats for your pictures and videos. Now last is number five and this one is pretty significant. Um, I'm sure you've already seen it in the corner of the screen there. But now we finally have something that has never been on the iPod Touch until just now with the seventh generation and that is finally we get battery percentage. Um, this is something that has annoyed me for so long and I was kind of surprised when I found out Apple added it to this generation. I guess um, they just never had the physical hardware in the device to get an accurate reading of the battery so they just never had this feature. Um, but now it is here. Um, previously the only way you could see your battery status was from the battery's widget right here. Um, and even this widget was just uh, released with iOS 9 um, and I don't even think you could see the actual percent on the iPod Touch until iOS 11 so really you can only do that on the 6th gen um, and uh, with this feature I noticed that like the battery would go up and down several percentages at a time so it would go up by like 10% when you're charging it and it would go down by like 10% when it was on power and um, it would always go down really fast from 100 to about 15 percent and then once it got to 13 it would just stay at 13 percent forever and then finally it would die at 12 percent so it would never even make it to one percent um, so now it is much more accurate and the battery goes up and down one percent at a time and I haven't fully discharged it yet, but I'm sure it would actually die when it gets to 1%. So a lot more accurate there. And we finally have this feature. And another thing in the battery settings here is we now have the more detailed usage information. So on the 6th gen, we would just have the screen on and screen off time. Now we actually have the last charge level and the battery level and activity graphs for the last 24 hours and up to 10 days. So some nice new battery features there. We still don't get low power mode though, unfortunately, on the iPod Touch. But then again, the iPads don't have it either, so I guess it's just an iPhone exclusive feature. 
Alright, so I know I said this was called the top 5 new features of the iPod Touch 7 generation, but in reality, that's really all of the new features of this new iPod Touch. So, not too many things are new, but definitely some great improvements, and this is just an amazing update to the iPod Touch. And who knows, it might even be the last one we ever see. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave it a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.